Well, I'm in my bedroom getting ready. Uh, a little bit of a late start today. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to be doing uh, a little road trip. Well, can't exactly call it a road trip. It's uh, I'm in a little village uh, just outside of a... I'd say it's about the third uh, largest uh, city in Manitoba. And I'm... I'm actually going to do some shopping for some crafts that I'm going to be doing. Things that uh, I'll need uh, around the house. And I've made a few things, but uh, I need more material and so forth. So I'm going to be doing some sewing projects. And uh, just like uh, sewing, I'm also going to be getting prepared and getting ready for my... <coughs> my seed planting, my seed start. Excuse me. <coughs> So, I'm taking a trip to um, Steinbeck and get all the supplies that I need uh, because I'll be, like I said, I'm going to be making a lot of projects, uh, a number of them, and uh, I need to get supplies. Okay, so as you can see, I'm back from my uh, shopping trip. Uh, I needed to pick up uh, some trays for... Uh, for my pots, uh, for my uh, transplants and that, I'm going to try and grow, uh, start my garden growing from seed and uh, instead of having to pay for transplants. So uh, it, I can start early enough uh, to get it uh, started. If it doesn't succeed this time around, then um, I can always go to my local market garden and, uh, and pick up uh, transplants. Uh, I've got larger uh, transplant pots, uh, like pots, they're three by threes. So it would be easier than I don't, if I use the smaller ones, the very small ones, uh, the small celled ones, then you're looking at having to pot up with these ones. You don't have to because they're bigger. So I've got that. And, <laughs> uh, I got my nine inch zip. That's for one project along with fabric because I'm making a tote bag and I'm this time I'm going to show you how I did it. So I picked that up. I've got tons of felt, crafters felt, and I always like using crafters felt uh, for various uh, uh, craft projects and that. So I picked up a huge package of uh, 45 pieces of uh, crafters felt for three bucks at the dollar store. And then uh, for another project that I'm going to be doing, I've got this cute little thing, this little, it's another sewing project that I'll be doing. And I've included, uh, I bought a little bit of lace, uh, just cheapy lace. You don't need to go out and buy uh, expensive. This was only like $1.25 at the dollar store. So that's part of my, uh, part of my uh, crafting uh, kit. I also needed interface. Well, the thing is, is that I'm out in the boonies and there's a limited quality quantity of different types of, uh, interfacing. This is heat and bond where you just, uh, it's a one-sided stick where it's, uh, it's, and it's uh, actually ultra hold. So it'll stiffen my fabric really well for the tote bags. If I want a stiffer tote bag or, or even a purse. So I picked this up. I got this at Walmart. Uh, it's, it's a, uh, value pack that is uh, 17 inches by three and a quarter yards so that's not too too bad I couldn't complain with that that was only about 11 but I got a tip for you guys if you are doing any type of you know pin cushions stuffed animals whatever don't go out and buy polyfill because you're spending a ton just for a little bag. What I did was, is this is a, a Canadian, uh, Canadian Canada Smart brand, uh, and it's Blue Whale, actually it's called. And what it is, it's, it's uh, a polyfilled, fiber logic, polyfilled pillow. This was $4. And this is a stand, this is a jumbo size like uh, a jumbo size, which is a 50-50 poly cotton cover on it. 
and I can use this beautiful little cotton fabric if I wanted to to recycle uh, and upcycle to uh, say a pencil case or a makeup bag or whatever but the polyfill in here use it like buy a pillow a polyfill pillow and you'll save yourself a ton of money it was only four four dollars and 73 cents so it is worth it and look at how much you get this thing is huge compared to the bag that you could get uh, of polyfill for uh, like in your craft area or a toy area where they have all this so you know what you here's a big tip for you save the money buy a pillow that you don't really need but you want it for craft projects this is it so i'm excited to bring uh to uh show you all this uh because uh i'm really excited about my my next uh craft and tutorials that i'll be uh be filming for uh for uh upcoming videos this is uh only the beginning of probably i'm looking at about three or four different videos and uh one of it is got, like i said it's going to be seed starting and i've got a few craft projects that uh, i want to show you and uh show you how uh, how i make a tote okay so you have a good day don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching